I wanted to show you a little feature that I really like here is what to do if you want to compare one market versus the other. Now, just bear with me. Let's go back to the NASDAQ quickly. Let's change that back to a five minute time frame. And there we go. Right. So what you can do is go to data series, like I've shown you in the just previous few steps, and you can select another market. Let's compare the NASDAQ versus the years. They're very highly correlated markets. Let's use the same time frame. And if you hit OK there, you'll see that another panel appears at the bottom below that first market you selected. And you'll see that you then got the years on the same time frame there. Right. So that is definitely a way you can do it. Let's go back to data series. Let's remove just for a second that ES I just attached. Now the other way is, and this is actually just a little bit of a time saver, is to just start typing on the chart ES, right? Like I did before, 23, December 23, five minutes. And in this case, rather than changing to the other market and time frame, we just go ahead and add a plus to the front there and hit OK. And then it does the same thing. So just a really cool feature, maybe a bit of a time saver. So if you want to see if a market's correlated or not, um, you know, the ES and the NQ is very correlated. But uh, some stages, like for example, you with the NQ, it found a bottom prior to actually the ES bottoming out. So whether that's helpful in your strategy or not, it really depends obviously on how you trade. But uh, again, just a quick hack to show you how you quickly add another market by hitting that plus by typing it onto that box appears when you start typing and there you go.